What's happening, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to the Classics, we've got an alien weaponry battle. We have Tangaroa versus Ahi K. Brought to us by a friend, longtime supporter, Patreon channel, Heath Palace, forever known as HP to us here. Thank you, HP. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons that make this thing go. If you like sports in any way, check out the Patreon link below or the Patreon link on the end screen. Yeah, man. I'm uh, excited for this one. I've uh, seen a couple of their music videos okay. uh, just through uh, various streams that have been brought. We have another of our uh, New Zealand friends, Alan, that has brought a couple from this band. Yep. But if you don't know anything about them, they are a metal band from New Zealand formed in Auckland in 2010. All three members have Mori uh, ancestry. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad. And a number of of their songs written and performed in the Maori uh, language. So right. uh, there we go, man. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to checking this one out. And um, yeah, man, we're uh, we're gonna start off that with that uh, Tangaroa uh, song from the album of the same name in 2021. That is their second album right here. And uh, man, we're gonna have the uh, the lyrics up. This is the third single. Discusses the pollution of the ocean by plastic materials. Mm. Received a video shot almost entirely underwater. Names it supporting the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. Say that ten times quick. <laughs> like to film this underwater? Uh, not me, not this guy, man. Uh, same here. Not this guy. I get uneasiness watching it underwater. <laughs> Fantastic filming, though. Oh, yeah. Time. The vastness of the ocean. Good for being underwater. Gotcha. <laughs> Cool video. Uh, great really editing cool video. too, man.
I'll have to see their drummer drum underwater. <laughs> He's at the bottom, just chilling with the octopus. Right, Tangaroa by Alien Weaponry right here, man. A really, really uh, impressive video, man. Uh, the yeah. editing, um, you know, the the way they made it look like they were obviously singing and performing underwater was really cool. Yeah, it was an incredible video. And uh, you don't see a lot of times, uh, especially bands that aren't, they might be huge where they are, but they're not huge, have that kind of budget to like, that had to cost some money. I don't oh, care. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I thought it was, that was a really good song. Good guitar work, good drumming work. And, you know, at times having the plastic bottles play, you know, plastic's mm -hmm. the single biggest threat to the health of the world. Like people don't realize, they say the average American eats a credit card a week. Oh, wow. <laughs> in microplastics. Like, so that's that's crazy. It is crazy. Oof. So it's, and it talks in your body and it starts in the ground and in the mm -hmm. sea, right? All these poor, poor fish and, and mammals in the sea, like they just, you know, that's not their fault. We're just polluting everything. So I thought I did a good job. I don't know everything that they were saying, mm -hmm. but. You know, it, it this doesn't need to be a ballad. It needs to be this kind of oh, song. Oh yeah, bring that heaviness to yeah. the uh, the impassioned. You know, vocals of course for a uh, a topic that needs to you know have a little oomph behind it. Be like, hey man, we better wake up, right? And yeah, I thought the the metaphor, so to speak, of them being like you know trapped in uh you know in the net or whatever, right? And, and you yeah, know I they had uh, towards the end the stuff like wrapping around them, just how you know we've all seen like the turtles get their their heads caught in like the soda can, yeah. you know, things and stuff like that. So. Uh, I feel here in the states we've uh, we can put a put a bigger emphasis on recycling in the past you know decade or whatnot, but uh, there's still uh, there's still a lot of work oh, right? to be done, that. obviously. But uh, man, like I said, I, I thought that uh, they did a bang up uh, a bang up job with that uh, right there. And so uh, now we are going to go to the second song in this battle right here, uh, Ahika or Ahika, man, yeah, man, for the same record, same record, which means burning fires. It's a principle in the Maori culture. Referring to take take uh, land rights, I'm not even going to use the word, <laughs> through visible occupation and use of land. It's one of the traditional means to establish authority over the land. Mm. This is the lead single. Now, this is a horrible story, right? It talks about the Auckland City Council removed Nagati Watua people, I, I'm sorry if I, from their homes in the Okawa Bay and then proceeded to burn the houses down in order mm. to beautify the city in preparation for a visit by Queen Elizabeth II. In the early 1950s, I mean, there's about 100,000 things wrong. I mean, I cannot even imagine. Mm -hmm. So it looks, when she probably went by it for half a second. No, right? exactly. And destroying all these people's livelihoods. Home. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Huh. So, yeah. Napalm Records, getting your attention <laughs> at the start of their videos. Just 
interesting red little outline going on. That was pretty tight, uh, putting her, her actual speech in there. Yeah, that's what I thought too. All right, Ahika, um, we don't have the translated lyrics. I found the lyrics everywhere. I didn't find any of them trained in English. That's why mm -hmm. I didn't have them available for us. But you get the feeling of the emotion and then oh, the yeah. visuals in there, as you talked about, having the queen in there in her own words. And then the thing at the end, I mean, all this is to uh, just just to honor this pretend figure. I'm sorry if you love royalty. It's odd for us as, yeah, as, no, as, I've always as Americans. I'm just like, what? Just kind of preposterous and yeah even uh, even to this day oh right? yeah it's just like, right. oh yeah you're the royal but um to do this to people to uh, just up and not only their family right now but for generations as houses are probably you know, people don't have a lot of don't have a lot and then you just do that to them but i, I felt the emotion and even though i didn't understand what they were talking no about. exactly and again i'm very obviously impassioned vocals yeah. impassioned uh you know musically hard-hitting as it needs to be and yeah i just thought the uh, interspersal of uh of queen elizabeth in there and you know at the end saying oh i'm here in new zealand i'm feeling right at home and the, the irony of that whereas people who actually are from new zealand and it is their home they got their homes taken away just like you said dad just for one afternoon so old queen elizabeth which she probably didn't even remember she probably, didn't, it. probably didn't know it yeah didn't, didn't, wouldn't have cared i mean i don't know maybe she, she probably wouldn't even care to no. pretend um, 
part of this world. Yeah, man. And, you know, you still see you still see that to this day in other forms, you know, here in the States, the gentrification going into these, yep. uh, you know, traditionally, you know, minority locations and big businesses building them, sh- you know, shoving them out yep. and, uh, you know, putting up, you know, nicer buildings or whatever. And then, uh, you know, all these people, you know, the homelessness rises and all, yep, all that exactly. stuff, you know, man. So uh, the, the people in power, the people with the money are always going to uh, to do what they can, right? And they're and, not going to care about us, and no, just so you know. Us. Unless you're one of those people and you really shouldn't be watching us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, I, a pair of powerful uh, videos from Alien Weaponry right here, you know, tackling some uh, some important yeah, issues for sure. sure. Um, I guess we uh, go to our, our winner now, Dad. What, uh, what are you leaning towards? I enjoyed both of them. I did, too. Uh, I'm actually going to go with this last song, which I didn't okay. think I would. Yeah. Now, the first video was more impressive just because that's quite mm. impressive. Right? Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with the second video, but uh, yeah. But I mean, I, th- I thought just the, the feeling and, yeah, you know, so yeah, we'll go with Ahika. I'm going to go with, uh, I, I'll go with the first one, huh? Tengaroa. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I think it probably should be a split. So, I, I, all, all that to say, I was really impressed with the Alien Weaponry Me too. right here. And thanks to HP for bringing it our way today. Let us know your uh, winner of this battle down below, your favorite Alien Weaponry tracks. I know this is uh, only their second album, so still kind of a... Uh, yeah. a newer-ish type band and so uh yeah let us know your thoughts there should i give that big thumbs up hit that subscribe button we upload every single day here and if you'd like to have us do a song battle for you or support the channel in any way check out our patreon page which will be linked below as well as at the end screen here but until next time y'all thanks for watching happy listening and we will see you